Scotland's naval visitors from Russia, led by Commodore Patrushev, come ashore once again for a visit to Edinburgh as guests of the Lord Provost. At the city chambers, 12 officers of the Soviet Navy were warmly welcomed at a luncheon given in their honor. Later came the signing of the visitor's book and the reception ended with a hearty exchange of good wishes with Lord Provost Andrew Murray. Commodore, the weather's not too good. You ought to have had your overcoat on today. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Thank That's you. Good. Nice. Good. I hope you have a pleasant time and happy recollection. Well, thank you very much, sir, for a nice reception. Of thank you. Here. So pleased to have had you all on. A sightseeing tour followed, and the Russian party were obviously impressed by the famous landmarks around Scotland's capital. And now to the handing over at Rosite. Vice Admiral Sir Ernest Archer, who himself commanded the battleship some years ago, was piped aboard, and our national anthem was then played by the Russian band. <laughs> Saluted by the men of two navies, the Soviet ensign was lowered and with the raising of the White Ensign, the battleship known since 1944 by the name Arkhangelsk became HMS Royal Sovereign once again. Handing over was almost complete, and a Russian transport lay alongside to take the Soviet crew back to their home base. One more ceremony remained, an inspection of the British crew by the Soviet commander. From a destroyer of the Royal Navy, the signal, Happy Return, was a final gesture of goodwill to the men now homeward bound after their historic mission. <laughs>